Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will design and simulate a master slave JK flip flop. So, before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share, and subscribe to my channel below. The output state of a master slave SR flip flop is undefined when the control input returns to zero when s equal to r equal to 1 to avoid such kind of a condition we go for a master slave jk flip-flop the logic diagram of jk flip-flop is shown the j and k input have the effect of setting and resetting the flip-flop in addition to this we have two and gates which are used to sense and steer the state of slave. Let us start the design and simulation of master slave JK flip-flop. Click on file and select new and select PLD design and click on create. Name this particular PLD design as JK flip flop and click on finish. Now click on place logic gate and from family select the latches. Now select the latch SR and click OK. Place two SR latch for this design purpose. We also require two AND gates. So select logic gates and select the two input AND gate and place this particular AND gate on the schematic window. Similarly, we also require an inverter in order to control the master and slave flip-flop. So select inverter and place this particular inverter on the schematic window. Now the output of AND gate that is U3 is connected to the S input of first SR latch and the output of AND gate U4 is connected to R input of first SR latch. Next. The output of master latch Q is connected to the input S of slave latch and the output of master latch QN is connected to the input R of slave latch. Next we must place a digital source. Select the interactive digital constant and click OK and place this particular interactive digital constant on the schematic window. So we have to place two interactive digital constant in our schematic window. And also uh, we have to place a digital clock for the JK flip-flop. So place this particular digital clock in the schematic window. Next, connect. Okay, we'll change this particular key space value as J and also double click on another key space and make this particular key space as K. Now uh, we will connect the clock to the enable of first SR latch and connect the input of inverter to the clock and the output of inverter to the enable pin of second SR latch. Now double click on clock and change the frequency as 1 Hz. 
connect the input J to one of the input pin of AND gate U3 and connect the input K to the input pin of AND gate U4. Now we must also connect the output that is the feedback line to the output of J input and gate is logic 0 and the output of K input and gate is logic 1. Next click on place probe and select the place probe and place this particular probe on the output of the inverter which would help us to determine when the clock goes high and clock goes low and also place the digital probe on the output of uh, the JK flip flop on the Q and QN. Now before the simulation let us see the functional table of JK flip flop. Run the simulation. Assume that the master slave JK flip flop is in one state. The control signal clock is zero and let us assume that the input J and K is equal to zero. The output of flip flop are interpreted which means that next state of the device is same as its present state and the output doesn't change and the present state is retained. Now let us consider the input to k as 1 and j as 0 and with the raising clock the master slave jk flip flop enters or remains in its zero state or known as the resetting effect. When the master and slave latches are in zero state and when j is equal to 1 and k equal to 0 and when the clock is high the master is set and one state of master is then transferred to the slave when clock returns to 0. When the master and slave is in one state and when both the input of j and k is equal to 1 and when the clock changes from 0 to 1 the master resets while the slave being disabled remains in one state but when the clock returns to 0 the content of master is transferred to the slave causing new state of jk flip flop the output of master slave jk flip flop is toggled when j and k is equal to 1 as a result of the control signal thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below